hear a voice of Lois Lane. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm well. How are you guys doing? Good. Doing well. I will try not to hit the table. I'll keep my hand <laughs> up. Oh, <laughs> I've already hit it like three times. <laughs> so, um, this is a really meta role for you. Um, it kind of really parallels your own relationship with your husband, Travis. Yes. It's funny, I was just doing some research. I just really came across this photo you posted 10 years ago. Oh my gosh, you found it! Yes. I was going to look for that on my own phone. Yeah, we, we went as Lois and Clark for Halloween. Wow. A decade ago? Was that really 10 years ago? Yeah, 2013, it says. Holy moly. <laughs> you got into existence. There you go. There it is. So I'm curious, it's playing Lois. That's a natural extension of yourself. As natural as I think, I assume it is. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's crazy because that banter that, that you get between Lois and Clark, it, it's very genuine because that is, you know, the stuff that we say to each other all the time. So I didn't have to, like, look too far to right. find that experience and as a recent mother myself you know finding that that love and support for her son uh, it was just there it's already there now jeremy is mentioning he gave this lois a lot of agency based her on the firecracker lois from uh, classic stories how did you feel being able to do that and to create this three-dimensional person? This story is so much fun. And yeah, Lois has really great moments within the story. Uh, all of this crazy stuff is happening and she stands on her own and she's able to get a lot of stuff. And um, through it all, has her son's back. And I think that's so important. Um, there's some really, really fun moments. Uh, that you'll get to see very soon. <laughs> She's not spoiling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, like literally, Travis and I were uh, watching the film a couple nights ago uh, together because we hadn't seen the whole thing finished, and it was so much fun to get to see his performance and get to see the Jack's performance. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a, a moment where Travis let out like, "Oh!" <laughs> that Lois does, and it, it felt good. Yeah. In the vocal booth, did you get to work with any of the other actors, or was it a solo? It was a solo because it, it was we recorded it during the pandemic, so. Um, we recorded. I recorded in my home. Jack just yeah. 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 We have. So Travis and I have a home booth set up. Which at the very beginning of the pandemic, I was like, let's put it in our master closet because it's like inside the house. It has the less, the least amount of noise. And I thought it was going to be very temporary. And you know, three years later, it's still <laughs> over in my closet. I can't access half of my clothes because of it. that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? J John! <laughs> Damien! He's so cool, but I would not want to tell him what to do. <laughs> Couldn't sleep at night. Oh my god, like when I open. <laughs> Um, there's a great scene um, towards the middle of the film where Lois is possessed by Starro, and when you perform it, it reminded me a lot of, I don't know if you've ever seen Coraline, you know, with the other mother, and yeah. it's a lot of what Terry Hatcher does. She's, you know, very sweet and almost robotic, or like really otherworldly. I just love it because it's subtle, but definitely something weird, like how you altered your performance, Lois and that scene. Right. Uh, wow, am I allowed to talk about that? Uh, yeah. 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 As long as Gary's not here to drop the hammer, I guess we're good. Yeah, uh, I love playing villains. Um, it's so much fun to get to be a villain. And so just for that short amount of time to, to get to have like evil sweet Lois was, was really fun. I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you. She's good. Um, we were told that Margot Kidder's Lois from the original Superman movie was definitely an inspiration on the writing here. Is that uh, a performance you went back and looked at beforehand, or did you just kind of want to let that lay and find your own way to it? I mean, her performance lives in my brain forever, because that's what I grew up on as well. You know, I know Christopher Reeve is Travis's Superman, and she's my Lois. Um, so I didn't, I, I didn't have to go very far to have that. Um, but 
I did also, I mean, want to stand on my own. I, I bring a lot of myself to any role, so. I did! Hell yeah, I did! Yeah, it was such a good show. As writers have become more diverse and are giving characters more agency and more individuality uh, on the pages and on the screen, do you think if they ever approached you for a Lois Lane standalone film, you would be interested in that? I would say no immediately. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. That's dumb. Of course I would want to do that. Are you kidding me? What do you think is her role in the DC Universe? Past, not the mother of Jonathan, not the right. I think she's a person that can show, you know, you don't have to have superpowers in order to be super. Um, she's incredibly capable, and she shows that time and time again. So, expanding on the meta-ness of this project, you also have Troy Baker as Batman. Yes! It's just so weird, because... Um, you're all Travis and our own friends go back to Texas. So yeah, and each other's weddings. And your sons, I believe, are friends or you hang out together. Our our children were born two months apart. So yes, they are best friends. We are we see each other every single weekend. Is that gonna you know, add to the flavor of the project? We I know Travis and Troy uh, raised a glass to be <laughs> Superman and Batman together. It's something they've always wanted to do. So um, to get to even be part of that relationship makes me very, very happy. Now you never have to think about what to do for Halloween and set. It's a given. <laughs> Just, yeah. <laughs> Gary gonna come back and I know he was like one one more minute. What did that mean? Gary is he's coming back. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys thank so you. much. No, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. You have a good day.